Today was kind of weird, huh? Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm your beautiful host, Young Buffett, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at what happened in the market today. We're gonna take a look at what people are talking about. We're gonna brainstorm some plays here, and we're gonna put our money where our brains are. And what I mean by that is, we spend pretty much all day on Finery, uh, Finery.io, and it's our free little trading group. We're just in here talking, brainstorming, thinking, planning, and uh, watching, we're watching the market. There's a lot going up, there's a lot going down, there's a lot of money, a lot of people talking about a bunch of different things, and you don't always really know where to go. And I always start off my mornings here, I said this in my last video too, I look at the the triple Qs, the, the big tech, I look at SPY, I look at TLT, the bond market, I take a look at the dollar, UUP. If it's up, should I be scared? <laughs> What's going on? So today started off all right, you know, it was okay. We were kind of hanging out a little bit. And then Janet Yellen and Jerome Powell just started talking. And that's all it took for the market to just take quite a little jump off of a cliff is what it looked like. So overall, it should be okay. Um, there was just some concerns about inflation, which if you know anything about how money works... It's just, it's quite obvious that inflation is becoming a problem, but that's okay because if we're positioned in assets appropriately, we can get rich off inflation. So let's just see how it all plays out. Um, in my video yesterday, I don't know if I just got lucky or if I'm an absolute genius, but I said Apple should be doing fantastic through all of this. Um, I don't know how I, I don't know how I knew that. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say I have some secret formula and stuff, but Apple coming into the Santa Claus rally should do fantastic. And it was literally one of very few stocks today that stayed green. Tesla, Tesla ended up green too. But anyways, Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, chip makers, Roblox. These are all the things that we're looking at all day. Airbnb got destroyed a little bit. I like Airbnb under 180. Netflix working its way down. I don't know why. Uh, if there's COVID fears, it should be working its way up. Very confused by Uber. But again, like I said, anything under 40, I'm buying that. Meme stocks today took a massive hit. AMC probably suffering from all of that uh, reopening trade downside. So down 7% on them. Clove under 5 for the first time that I've seen. Oof, putting it down. <laughs> putting it down negative 69% in the year. That that's a lot, you guys, on a stock. Jeez. And then we got GameStop, we got Wish, everything working its way down. But you know what? That's okay. Um we can hop over here to Ape Wisdom, and what we did last time is we take a look at who's talking about what. Wall Street Bets, Wall Street Bets New, Wall Street Bets Elite, Stock, Stock Market, Investing, SPACs, Options, Day Trading, and Short Squeeze Subreddits, the top trending stocks on Reddit. Everybody's talking about the S&P 500. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Let's get the overall market sentiment on that. It's about 58% positive. Nearby words include calls, puts, up, bought, buy, down, QQQ, buying, like, put, back, end of year, open, and DTE. So again, everybody is just kind of watching to see how this all plays out. GameStop is 57% positive public sentiment. Tesla is about 57% positive public sentiment. Apple, 56%. So people don't really know how to feel about things. Now you want to see something cool? When people don't know how to feel about something, check out what happens here. Let me introduce you to the VIX. So the VIX or the UVXY, or um, there's a lot of different tools that monitor volatility. Check out when people get confused or when people get scared, when options volume for the puts start to increase compared to the ratio of the calls. Keep an eye out for UVXY, the VIX, the overall fear sentiment indicator. UVXY was up almost 20% today. So 
keep an eye out for that. You can, you can get a feel of where those things are going to go when you're taking a look at how people are reacting and how people are talking and how people are putting their money down on either calls or puts. We were taking a look at option statistics today and it was really interesting. There was a ton of puts being poured into the market, obviously leading this thing to go up 19%. But anyways, uh, GameStop, Tesla, Apple, Moderna, the biotech stocks are still going crazy. People are pouring into those things. Um, we have a couple open positions. It should be interesting to see how this all plays out. Um, NVIDIA and the chip makers, AMD and them, they're, they're, they're doing fine. Um, throughout this whole market up and down, they're already up so much. I'm just happy that they're holding up. Now, again, it's all about just diversifying and making sure that you're in all of these little sectors and making sure that it all keeps you afloat. When one thing goes down, the other thing goes up. Uh, chip makers usually tend to do pretty well. So Alibaba, nothing, nothing weird from China yet. Uh, Microsoft doing fine with the rest of the big tech. Walt Disney um, should be, again, interesting to watch i i like to see the balance between whether or not their streaming service outweighs or at least helps future proje projections of their parks because obviously with new covid stuff or fears of re reclosing and and different regulations and whatnot what's going to happen <laughs> will their streaming service outweigh the fears of their park closures i haven't heard anything about park closures so hopefully we don't hear anything like that but keep an eye out for that type of news because then you know where to go and where to put your money there scrolling down here you see number 16 wish now this one always gets me this one is one of the funniest things i've ever seen wish overall positive public sentiment 69 percent right people are super excited about it and whatnot but it's actually one of the worst stocks i've ever seen in my entire life wish is down 84.29 percent in the past five-year chart why are people still talking about it what is what do you what what do you want from this thing I don't even know what it would take for this thing to, to come out of the ground. I'm very curious to see why people are so interested in it. Um, let me know if you like Wish in the comments below. I, I just don't understand. Uh, Facebook, Meta, they've been kind of quiet. I, I've seen a kind of like a they pumped the brakes a little bit on all of the Meta news coming out. So I'm very curious to see what they're planning. Maybe it's another news launch. Maybe it's an update on their branding. Maybe what are they working on? I don't know. Again, uh, payment providers like PayPal and Square and them, I think have taken quite a hit in the past three months or so. So they are still on my radar. Again, I'd rather be late than wrong. So I haven't scaled in much to those yet, but I definitely like where Square and PayPal and them are. Uh, Salesforce got wrecked today. So keep an eye out to see if you want to pick up some Salesforce in your long-term portfolios. And then as we just continue to scroll down, Clove is number 32 on this list. People are still talking about it and uh, they're trying to see what they can do there. So Swaggy Stocks, this covers what Wall Street Bets talks about. Um, obviously everything that's on everyone's mind right now, mRNA, the biotechs are alive and well. I'm very curious to see how Wall Street Bets adopts this new this new heat or wave or movement or let's see how it all plays out i have a close eye on it uh apple tesla nvidia gamestop disney baba amd facebook paypal wish qqq microsoft oil pfe amc amazon crm go ev so it's pretty much what everyone always has been talking about plus biotechs um just keep an eye out on it that's all you can really do if you have any questions or anything please hop over into Finery. We are brainstorming stocks in here all day long. And with that, I love you and I'll see you in the next video.